mining in the new world. Today, I want to talk about getting started and the multiple ways you can become more efficient while mining. First thing that I want to say is that you don't have to pick between gathering skills like in other games. In this game, you can use all of them. Mining is used to mine not only ore, but stone, gems, oil, and alchemy stones, and will also help when completing project board quests. And to get started, you just need to craft your first gathering tool. All you need is flint, wood, and a campfire to craft your first pick. Flint is found on the ground, and if you don't already have a tool, you can get wood from bushes. After you get your first pick and start mining, you'll see that you can level up that skill. So a few things come with leveling up your mining. Mining speed, the ability to track ore, and mine other types of ore. There's no quick way to leveling it up, but something to note is that there is more lower level ore. So mining speed is, well, mining speed. But leveling up isn't the only way to increase it. Mining speed can be increased through three ways. Territory standing, leveling up your skill, and getting a better pickaxe. Territory standing is a permanent buff to you while you're in the zone. You level this up by doing pretty much anything in the zone. Gathering speed is one of the better options that you can pick, but I would never put it above storage space, which will be my main focus while leveling. I will be picking things that will be the most impactful after hitting max level. The gear score of your tool is tied to your mining speed, and you'll get the biggest jump in efficiency from upgrading to a higher level metal. There are five tiers of metal that you can craft your pickaxe out of. Flint, iron, steel, star metal, and orichalcum. The metal pickaxes will take two coarse leather, three timber, and 12 to 15 of whichever metal you choose to use. Tracking grants you the ability to see certain nodes of ore on your compass at the top of your screen. The distance that you can track seems to be around 20 to 30 meters. Each type of ore has its own icon, making it easier to target farm things. Each gathering skill has a stat attribute that makes it better. You won't need to be the matching stat to be efficient in the gathering skill, but it may make the decision easier when deciding which gathering crafting combination you may want to prioritize. For mining, the stat is strength. At 50, you get 10% mining speed. At 100, you get 20% encumbrance. At 50, mining related items will weigh 10% less. At 200, you get another 10% mining speed increase. At 250, you will get 10% more yield while mining. And at 300, you get a 25% chance to mine a node with a single swing. And if you like this content, do me a solid, like this video and subscribe. I plan on doing more videos like this in the future. Let's get back to it. There are also ways to increase your yield, carry limit, and chance to get rare items while mining, which moves us into gear, perks, and consumables. Mining luck, mining yield, and prospector's discipline are the main pickaxe perks to look out for. There's also durable and azoth extraction, which I didn't get much value from. On armor, there's only perks for varying degrees of luck. Luck is a stat that increases the chance you have to obtain items like Fey Iron. All of these can be guaranteed to be crafted on your gear with use of the correct charm, for consumables, there's food and potions. The Mining Luck food recipes are potato based, so if you plan on cooking the buffs yourself, keep an eye out for those. And potions can be used to increase carry limit or yield. There are sets of mining equipment that drop with guaranteed perks on them. They are easy to identify, they all have mining in their name. The last thing that can increase your luck is furniture, which is a neat concept. They are called mining trophies. They go in your house and you can make them with the furnishing skill. So whenever you're looking for a specific resource or would like to plan out a route, you should use this extremely helpful website that will show you the locations of these. All you have to do is use a sidebar, check the boxes of the resources, and then it will show you multiple places on the map where they spawn at. There's no reason to look up a video or read an article when you can just use this website. Also, I suggest you leveling up your gathering skill on the side while leveling because if your character level is too far ahead of your gathering skill, you can run into an issue of going into a new zone and not being able to gather anything. And the only way to fix this will be backtracking. This is everything you need to know to get started mining. Let me know if you have any questions. I plan on doing more videos like this in the future. Subscribe to me if you want to catch those early. Follow me on Twitch too. Good luck on release. I'll catch you guys later.